Okay, we're going to have a quick look at how you make a basic TV app prototype using Tomlet Hype. Now, Tomlet Hype is a Mac only piece of software. Um, it's a timeline animation uh, package. What it really is good for it also is making prototypes. Um, it has scenes, so you, sometimes you may not have to use things on the timeline, uh, unlike Adobe Edge, where you know all your interactivity will need to take place on the timeline. Okay, so what I've got is I've got a number of assets here that I'm going to use in this project. Ideally, the best work practice and workflow would be you create all your design and concept. Um, and then export the assets from that program, be it Photoshop or Sketch 3, and you would have made it that concept to the um, screen resolution and the um, screen dimensions. In this case, we're targeting um, 1280 by 720. So you would have laid all that up and exported everything and ideally created also the, you know, the videos to be a proportionate size um, to go on your video as well. Okay, so what we'll do now is we'll just see how quickly this takes. We're going to start a clock up here uh, to get going. And then we're going to come down and we're going to open up Tomlet Hype. Now, Tomlet Hype, uh, once it's opened up, the first thing we'll do is input the screen dimensions. So over here in the Properties Inspector on the right, it does have preset sizes. So you can go up here and it'll have um, a number of preset sizes a lot of them go for uh, certainly Apple devices but it has uh, a lot of TV ones um, on there as well so if you go down to the high definition section it does indeed have 1280 by 720 which we're targeting the screen will get a little bit bigger so um, what I can do is just zoom out a little bit it's got the zoom up here I'll just take that down now, once we've done that, we need to change the color of the background. So it's in the properties when you're on the scene here. We can come along and we can come along and say black, which uses the case that you have uh, for interfaces for tellies. You're going to have a dark color. Now, once I've got that, I'll just make this a little bit bigger on here. So you can see it. Drag it down. Uh, once that's done uh what i'll just name this i'll just call it uh, in i'll call it home i think home okay i'll call this scene home this is the first scene i've got here now once we've got that you can put elements now you can bring in your elements you can bring them in the resource folder here and drag and drop them um, if you want but i'm just gonna just make some elements on here so I click for t for text this is where you select the fonts I would have to go to the elements first and say I wanted text for that to really come live and then what I would be doing is making it a little bit bigger um, on here and what I'm going to type in is uh, archive.org um, again it's gone issue of black text on a black background so I'm going to make those white um, that's going to be my title again you've got these uh, you can um, drag out guides if you wanted to as well uh, from the rulers now I've got that uh, from my project here I'll just drag out a graphic and you can drop it on here or you can uh, put them in the resources folder you'll see once you have dragged something on the stage it will indeed appear in the resources folder as well you can put it in there to begin with and then use it Again, I just drag this out. Uh, ideally, you would have uh, created something, um, the dimensions they need to be to match the screen dimension, but I've got these here. And I can certainly, once I've got that, I'll go over here. And what I can do is put um, a border on there. So I'll make a border, I'll make it white, I'll just make it there. Once I've got that, I can. Uh, alt drag that out and then alt drag again now uh, might do the all uh, different sizes on here uh, it does have smart guides which show you when they're all sort of equal and what we'll do move this so it's the center and then alt drag with them all selected um, down here make sure they're in the center 
Um, ideally, you'd have different ones to represent the categories, say, in your project. Now, once that's all on there, we've got it on the home scene. Um, now, what we can do is add a new scene. So over here, we just click the plus. And again, it will add a, a new scene here. And I'll just drag that out so we can see the scenes on the side. And again, I'll go and select uh, black on there. Now, once we've got that, I'm going to call this uh, video uh, one. Uh, I've got that on there. And then I'm just going to put some elements on here. So I'm just going to put something up the top. Again, these could be imported elements you've brought in, like graphic files. They don't have to be typing in here. Um, but I'll just give you an idea. I'll just call this archive.org. Uh, Again, black text on here. I'll need to come up and make it white from the properties, move it up the top, and then I can duplicate these scenes in a minute. Uh, once I've got that, I'll just drag this over here, and I'll just identify that you probably type in something more meaningful if you're doing this for real. Okay, video one, when I drag this over, that's done. Now I'm gonna have some buttons down here, and then I'm gonna have the video over here on the uh, right. So I'll open this up. First button I'll drag is just a little home button. This is a little bit tacky and not so good when you're doing it for real. Uh, you're going to have um, more appropriate to current trends. This is just give you an idea of uh, the functionality. I've got the uh, home button, which will take me back to the first home slide. And then also I need to put some buttons on here. Now buttons, you can create graphic files and bring them in and insert them within the button element. So if I go um, to the element and go button, it gives me a button here. Can make the button a bit bigger with the text and then drag it out like that, uh, bring it over here. Uh, once you've got that, you can change the color of the button. Uh, <clears throat> on the, which we click on the elements here, uh, background of this, maybe I'll go for something like a red color. And all I'm gonna do is say video one. Now you can actually have hover events on here if you wanted to. So I could go hover and I could change the color or touch. I could change the color. Maybe it goes to this different color. Okay, once I've got that, I will say alt drag it and alt drag it again. Uh, and then all I'm going to do is change this to two and change this one to three. And then I'm going to change the starting button so they look slightly different. Go for green one here not very good design wise but it'll give you an idea uh, okay so we got all our buttons already and again we just need to put a video on there so simple as that all I'll do is to drag and drop again hopefully you might have scaled your your videos appropriately so they're coming in reasonable proportions rather than being too big and you scale them down too much which is the case for me here but in any case I'll scale it down and if I place it here lines you probably use the guides to set it up so that's my first video once I've done that um, I can go through this and just duplicate the scenes um, so if I come along here um, I can duplicate my scenes so all I would do is I would holy right mouse click on the scene and say duplicate scene and then on here once I'm on that scene, once it's settled down, I will place the, the video for the next video. And then I would change the name up at the top. Okay, the videos come in again, slightly bit bigger. Um, with this one, it's got quite a, you know, it's a dark intro background, so you can't really see it on there. So I'll bring it in. And I'll make this video two. And then finally, um, it's duplicate the scene again. And what I'll do is, this needs to be video three to identify it. Uh, I delete the video off there. Up here make this three and finally drag my last video element out. 
Uh, you'll probably see when you go to your resources that all those video elements will be there. And again, when you're working on your project, you probably need to save your hype document in a folder with all these elements that you're linking to or associated with your project. Now I've got that, I'll just make this slightly bit bigger and put it on that. Now what I will do is make a little board around these things. So I'll come back and um, I've got these elements and I'll put some uh, borders around here. So I'll come along and say white and then make it a little bit of a border on there. Now also you've got autoplay and I'm going to turn that off but I want controls. Then I'll go back to this next object and again I'm going to uh, put a border on it, um, on that, and I'm going to turn off autoplay. Now you can hear tile different video formats. It's got MP4 there, and you can put OGV and WebM as well. So you can tile them up, and they're fallbacks if they are not compatible with browsers. And so I'll go finally to this video and go up here and make that white so that's got a border okay so there are all the scenes um, that I've got I'll just save my project save it in here and I've got pretty pipe TV app okay I'll save that inside here right so everything's all done so all these elements are set up and they're using scenes and now they all need to be linked together so the first one I'll just link one of these and I'll link that to my slide here but I need to make sure I've named all the other ones appropriately because they've got copies so I'll just go through it before I do that and just delete back and call it Two and come to this one and delete that back. Call that three. So they're done. Go back to my home slide. Select the first one. Then over in the properties, it's got the actions. And what I do to do is something like mouse click or tap. I click here and I would play jump to scene. Then I would say which scene. So I want it to go to say the first video because that would be the category. Then I move on to my video one. And again, same thing with the actions. I come here, I would then jump to scene. I would tell it to go to the scene and I make sure it's video one. Um, you can have these, you can have pushes and swaps or fades if you wanted to. We'll just leave them in an instant or you can change the duration. Um, I do number two, again, jump to scene. I'm saying the scene and this time we're going to two and finally this button I'll go here and again jump to scene and I'm going to come here and I'm going to go to number three and then finally I'll just do the home button here click on that uh, jump to scene and that scene needs to be home so I've done all that so what I can do is shift click these um, and then when I go through here, I can sort of like go through, I can shift click those, delete, paste. Uh, oops, hasn't pasted in my home. So I'll go down here, and, um, paste that there. Again, I'll shift click to make sure they all come through, copy with them all selected. And the final one, I'll just shift click these, and I'll just delete them and paste in the new ones. Okay, so I can shave that up to date. So I've got all those. And now we can just see how that works. If you see here, we haven't put any timeline actions on there. You can have some sort of animation on there, but we're just looking for it in its simplest form. If I come up here and click in the preview and browser, or I could go to the file menu, I've got that. It appears up here. Now what I can do is I can um, go to the view menu and I can say enter presentation mode. When you enter presentation mode, you don't have any of the um, stuff on there, so it's full screen. Looks a little bit small on here because I've got a 
quite a large monitor resolution, but if it was on just a, a high definition one that was smaller, it'd be fine. I click there. Um, now that's probably got auto play on it, so uh, I've got to check that. I go to that, and you'll see these are rollovers. So I'm on that video again. I'll play that. So that works. I've got the sound controls, which I had. These are all the HMR5 ones, and finally, last video. There we go. Uh, and then I can go back here, and then I can go back to that. Right? Okay, I'll just stop that. And I'll just go up to the view menu, and I'll exit the presentation mode. This is available in Chrome. And then I'll go back here, click on the video that was auto playing and go to the element for it and turn off auto play and now when I go and preview it again it won't do that and that's it and I can play it okay now once you've done all that that's it's just as simple as that you can add other functions in here hype gives you other functions you can then use this also to have other ones set for your um, dimensions for your uh, app that's going to be on a tablet or a phone and that's it so once you've done with your hype project and you sort of saved it you can um, export as HTML5 and you do it to a folder it gives you warnings about compatibility on different um, browsers mostly they're down to some to do with many of the things that I haven't put any fallbacks for videos on there and it's asking for those but I'm fine with that so I'll press export I'm going to save it in that project folder and it'll save it in a folder and those things oops just one last thing I'll, I'll come out of that now what you can do in hype and this is the last thing we're going to do if I just come over here where it's got the document um, what you can do is this you can go down here and you can say home screen web app and what that, that will do is it'll actually down when a user clicks on it if they go to it on a device an Apple device it will save it to the home screen when they click on it it will open up full screen as if it was an app so that's the thing you need to do home screen web app you need to do okay once I've done that I need to save that output it HTML5 I click on there I save it in the folder now what it's done here if we notice it's put it a HTML document inside here are all the assets and the script files um, and if I just open that up here it is uh, and you know again if you're in Chrome this is really quite a neat feature as it go into presentation mode and we can go through it there okay and that will play Okay. Right. I'll just come up here and exit presentation mode and close that down. Okay, so that's how you make a quick, easy prototype using Tom at Hype. Can do a little bit more to make it more interesting. That's up to you to use it and experiment with it. It's only Mac only. Uh, that, that's the issue. Uh, but the thing is it does have a timeline but when you do something like a simple interactive like this you can just use the scenes and then it outputs it as a HTML5 and also you can have it to go full screen on an Apple device you can also uh, sync it when you're using it here to your your um, devices if you download the hype viewer app to see how you're going Okay, that took us just over 19 minutes to create um, that little prototype.